Hey guys, Dr. Pfeiffer here. Some of you know me already, but if not, hi. Um, since you guys are all stranded at home, I thought I would make a short video with an exercise that I do all of the time. Um, done this one since somewhere around when I first started playing percussion and I still do it every day to this day. And I think uh, this should be fun for the percussionist, but um, I think it's actually a pretty worthwhile thing for even non-percussionists. Even if you don't have a drum pad and sticks at home, uh, you can play it like this or play it on your feet or on the table. Um, it's a great uh, timing exercise just to for percussionists to really work on all of our different strokes and ensure that we have really good timing. But even if you're not a percussionist, just improving your timing is always a worthy goal. So. I hope you guys can see this. Um, maybe you can pause and take a screenshot. But the exercise is called stick control. And I wrote it out here. Um, R and L just stand for right and left hands. And we use in this exercise something called a check pattern. Uh, the whole exercise is in 4-4. Four, four, so our check pattern is one full measure of 16th notes. I have it written right here. Uh, and then my shorthand, I just wrote check. So. Uh, this thing is divided up into four hand patterns that um, each do something a little bit differently. So we go through all of these hand patterns one at a time with a check measure in between. Um, so the first part of it there's, uh, starts with a measure of check and the first pattern is right, 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 left. We do that for four counts and four counts of check. Then our next pattern is right, left, left, left for four counts and a measure of check. Our next pattern is four on each hand. So right, 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 left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 and a measure of check. And the last pattern is doubles. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. And then one measure of check. All together, since we do this hand pattern four times, we call this the fours. Then we're gonna do each pattern twice, and then we're gonna do each pattern only once. Check out here, this is the last time after we complete the fours, that's the last time that we do the check. And then we go right into the twos. So right, 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 left, right, 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 left, right, left, 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 right, left, 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 right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Then right into the ones. And this is the this is the one that usually trips people up because you have to be thinking kind of quickly and make sure that you're thinking ahead so that your hands can get the notes out on time so you have this uninterrupted flow of 16th notes that just sound like this no matter what you're doing. So the pattern here is right 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 left right left 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 right 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 left left right right. Uh oh now we're hands reversed because we ended on a right so the pattern is backwards now left 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 right left right 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 left left right, right, left, left, right, uh, I screwed up. Left, 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 right, left, right, 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 left, 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 right, right, left, left, right. I promise I can play it better than I can read through the paper backwards. So uh, let me just play through it for you so you get an idea of how this should sound. I'm not very warmed up, but I'm hoping that I've been playing this long enough that the notes all come out evenly. So it goes like this. Now, on this recording, I'm playing on a wooden table on a pad with sticks. You're probably hearing a little bit of unevenness between. And that's just the tone of my sticks. Even if I play it with the same hand. A little bit of unevenness in the sound just due to the sticks, the tone of the sticks and playing on this. But the goal is all of those notes, no matter what pattern you're playing,
should all just sound like this. Now, if you're not a drummer um, and you have two hands, you can do this too, uh, just playing on your stomach or your chest or your legs, whatever it might be. Um, and I still think it's really beneficial because it gives us a really, really good sense of timing uh, and connects what we are thinking uh, in pulse, what we're hearing in pulse and in notes going on around us in the orchestra or band. Um, and certainly when you're playing uh, clarinet or saxophone or a trumpet or violin, uh, you have to connect physically with what you're doing. And if you have running 16th notes on the violin, da 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 uh, with whatever your bowing is, um, certainly being adept at fitting different groups of notes within a bow stroke, whether it's an up bow or a down bow, um, should certainly be beneficial. And we'll see you next time.